The good news is I am not dying. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today's Monday and I'm about to head to the gym, hence the gym fit. I'm wearing the Lululemon Invigorate bra and these are the super high rise wonder unders in, I can't remember the name. I think these are like desert, desert teal or something like that. And then my Nike sneakers. And then I recently got this little Lululemon gym bag, which I absolutely love because I never really had anything to throw my stuff in at the gym. So this is perfect. So I just got to the gym and here's a better look at my new gym bag. I literally am obsessed with the color of this. I feel like it's so like fall and Christmas. It's a really pretty like neutral red color. And I think that the color is called Cassis and I actually ordered my favorite leggings, which are these Wonder Unders in this color because I'm just, now that I see it on the bag, I'm like, it's so pretty. But yeah, this is called the City Adventure Backpack and it's like the perfect gym bag because it's not like a full size backpack, but it's also not like super mini either. And I also got this little keychain so that I can attach my gym card on it because we have to swipe in every time we go into the gym I go to and so I thought it'd be really convenient to just attach it to this though I haven't done that yet obviously <laughs> from the gym and I had such a good workout. My legs hurt so bad. My heart rate was easily in the 160s for like the vast majority of that workout, which was about 50 minutes. And man, it was much needed because I spent my whole weekend in West Palm Beach and I was not eating healthy and I didn't work out all weekend. So it was good to get back to it Monday. to do a little random haul just going to show you guys some recent purchases and I'm very excited first thing is I got one of my case defy cases in for my new iPhone 12 Pro and I just got this one with like the pink sides and I'm obsessed with it and the clear back so I can appreciate the white and then I just had it say Melissa Lucy. I got a big box full of stuff from Windsor and then I got a very exciting new pair of shoes from Adidas and I got a pair of jeans from Levi's. So there's just been like a lot of crazy sales going on right now. I don't know why but this year it seems like Everywhere is doing all their Black Friday sales like early or Cyber Monday, whatever. They're just doing all of their sales early. So yeah, girl, I had to take advantage of some of these sales. My hair is like still slightly damp. Um, I kind of got tired of drying it. My hair takes forever to dry. I really love using that Revlon One Step. It's amazing, but it doesn't change the fact that my hair still does kind of take a while to dry. And it's still like wet on the underneath parts, but 
it's good enough. So I'm going to start out with these shoes because I think these are probably my most favorite pair of shoes that I ever purchased in my whole life, like not even kidding. They are the Adidas Falcons, but these are a lot cooler than the regular ones. So they are like white with black laces, which I love. I just love the contrast. My favorite part is it has like little rhinestones all around. So freaking cute. I'm definitely gonna wear these to the gym. Right now, I only ever wear my Nikes or my Adidas Swift Run sneakers, and I never switch it up. And I feel like these would just be so cute for the gym. And then also like running errands and stuff. I mean, they are white, so I typically try to keep my white shoes just for the gym only so that they don't get dirty, but I love these. I will link them in the description and I'll link anything I'm talking about in the description. So next, I got a pair of jeans from Levi's. They had a huge sale. I think every everything on their site was like 40% off, which I don't think they've ever done that, at least not since I've been purchasing stuff from Levi's. I got their most popular pair of jeans. These are the Levi's wedgie straight jeans. Um, they're like the most common jeans, I feel like, that they sell. I bought a pair of these a while back in a size 26, which is my usual size, and they were too tight on me. So I would say maybe size up, at least for me, so I got a 27 and these fit pretty perfect. They're a little loose in the back, but like at least I can button them. I don't know if that's just a me thing, but here's what they look like. So cute, just classic jeans and I already tried them on and they fit me perfect. So I'm really glad about that. Okay, so now I will get into the Windsor stuff. This stuff was sent to me uh, free from Windsor. They send me stuff all the time and I love working with them. The video is not sponsored or anything, but I just love being like an ambassador for them because I literally love their clothes, you guys. So let's just get into it. So this first thing just literally screams Christmas to me. It's like this really cute cropped cardigan in this pretty green color that's like Christmas tree green. I love this. I can't wait to wear it. It's a really soft, like sweatery material. I'm so excited. This and the jeans. Some boots. This here is a basic bodysuit. Just black, high neck, I always say high neck, it's like halter top um, bodysuit with like a button bottom. I just felt like I wanted another basic black bodysuit. These are great for layering. I like to wear these with like a flannel over top or something. Then, I never remember what I picked out. This here, oh yeah, this is very cute. Just like a basic, crop top. Um, I got a medium. I should have got a small. I can already tell it's going to be kind of big around here. Um, I always struggle with what size to get. I just feel like this is, you know, my kind of style for when I'm working at home. I usually wear something like that and sweatpants. These are these black cargo pants that I saw on there and I just had to have. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them already. So they're just like cargo pants. Obviously they have like the big cargo style pockets, but they're like jogger style. So they cinch around the ankle and then it comes with this cool belt. I love these. Oh my gosh. I love any pants that make me feel like I'm wearing sweatpants, even though I'm not really wearing sweatpants. This is a really cute, basically it's like a romper. Um, but it's just a plain black, all one piece romper. And it kind of resembles a bodysuit, but the bottom is like shorts. So it comes off like you're wearing a long sleeve black shirt, like with a scoop neck and biker shorts, but it's all one piece. So I saw a lot of girls styling this with a flannel over top and like Doc Martens and stuff. And I just thought this was like a really nice little all in one piece. I got another one of these dresses, which if you guys remember my last Windsor haul, I got this in black and I literally love it so much. So I got it in this really pretty beige color. And of course I got a flannel. So I got this one, which is like black and red, very pretty for Christmas. And it's like dark. I just can't wait to wear this. I actually got like several things that I can style with this. So I love the oversized flannels. I got this one in a small and you can see it's like very oversized. Reminds me a lot of my flannels from Sun Bunny. And the last thing I got is this cute off the shoulder little like sweatshirt thing. So it's basically like a cropped pullover sweatshirt, but it only has one shoulder. So it's pretty cute. I really like this and I love this color. This is like my favorite color ever. This like nude camel color. 
um, yeah, that is uh, everything that I got. Those are my new purchases slash PR. Okay, I just changed into these Levi's because I just wanted to show you guys how they fit. They are so cute and comfy. The only complaint that I have is like the back, it just is like loose back here. I mean, it's actually not too terrible, but you can kind of see like the way it's a little bit loose, but they're really cute. They're like the perfect mom jeans if you don't want like super baggy mom jeans, but you still want that like style. And don't mind my feet. I'm wearing slippers right now because I'm just about to pack orders, but I just want to try these on. Just took the packages to the post office and now Chad and I are heading to Publix to do our grocery shopping for the week. And I'm showing Chad these really good songs that I discovered at this restaurant that we went to in West Palm Beach. So if you live in Florida and you know of the Avocado Grill, that's where we went to eat. It was a really cool restaurant, but they had like the best music and it was so good. So my sister and I were like shazamming every single song that came on and I'm gonna show you guys my favorite one. I can't play it obviously, but I'll show you. Here it is. It's called Changes by Foul. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. And here is a scenic shot of grocery shopping and now we are sitting in standstill traffic there's some kind of accident up ahead and so we're probably gonna be here for a little while I really wish I had access to my snacks right now <laughs> <laughs> but they're in the back okay we finally made it back home I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul nothing super exciting this week um, but yeah so we got a Caesar salad kit and we're having this tonight with our pasta and we got some halos because I love these little clementines and some celery, iceberg lettuce, two packs of raspberries, blueberries, an onion, avocado, bananas, my cinnamon applesauce because you guys know I eat this a lot. And then we got some pre-made Publix meatballs because these are amazing. We're going to throw these in with our pasta tonight. And then some chicken, apple cider, two kombuchas. These are actually for Chad. I haven't been drinking kombucha lately, but he wanted some kombucha for some reason. So Chad got kombucha. And then we got these jalapeno lime late July chips, which are my favorite. And then I got these skinny pop little popcorn cakes in cinnamon sugar. It just sounded really good. And then this is the pasta we're gonna have tonight. Um, this is the cavatappi, which I haven't had this one. I've had bonzo chickpea pasta plenty of times, but not the cavatappi shape. So I'm excited. And then got some more of our pancake mix. This is a Kodiak cake kind. And then we also got some ciabatta bread because we are going to make garlic bread using this. Chad makes it really good whenever we do pasta. For it is now dinner time and here's our salad Chad's making. It's not really garlic bread, is it? It's, like, it's got garlic. We discovered this on a HelloFresh recipe. It actually goes with a HelloFresh meal, but we like it so much that we wanted to make it with another meal. And then here's what the noodles look like. These chickpea cavatappi noodles. And then we've got our pasta sauce. The meatballs are already in it. Wow. Thank you, Chad. Dinner is served. It's a little bit later now and Chad and I are about to watch some Netflix. And I've got my heating pad here. My belly hurts. Uh, we're gonna watch The Queen's Gambit. That's what we've been watching. Highly recommend if you haven't seen it. It's a very, very good show. We are very much addicted to it right now. Fun fact, Chad and I used to play chess all the time. Like, it used to be our favorite thing. We have a chess board still. We have not played it in definitely over a year or longer. It makes us wanna play again though, so we might play chess again soon. Good morning, guys. It's the next day now. Chad and I, didn't really do much last night other than watch like three episodes of The Queen's Gambit and we're almost finished with the show. It's so good. But now I'm just sitting here working on my laptop and yes, I am wearing the same pullover that I wore yesterday. It's very cozy. But I have a doctor's appointment at 10.20 so I have to leave the house in like 30 minutes. 
to go to that doctor's appointment and I haven't told you guys, it's like really random, but I've been having this really weird pain, like on my left upper abdomen. And when I eat a lot, it like, I have like almost like a little lump there. It's very strange and concerning. I would say this has been going on for like a month now, but it wasn't painful until like the last few weeks. I don't really care, I'll just show you guys. It's like, here's where my rib cage ends. It's like right in this area and you can't see it right now because I didn't just eat a big meal, but you can definitely like feel a lump there and that's not normal. Okay, well I just got to my doctor's and I'm about to go in right now, find out what the mysterious lump is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I really hope it's not my spleen, but I also really hope it's nothing serious. I hope she's just like, oh, this is nothing. This is like an enlarged muscle or something. I don't know if that's a thing. Can we just appreciate what a beautiful sight is in front of me? I mean, it's very Florida, but it's just so nice out today. It's literally 77 degrees. A little bit chilly for us Floridians. I love it. So I'm finished at the doctor. I also just picked up my mobile order from Starbucks and I just got a grande iced coffee with a vanilla cream cold foam and one pump of white mocha. Mm. This, this is it. The good news is I am not dying. Bad news is I do have to go get an ultrasound and the earliest that they had was next Friday. So we won't know what the mysterious lump is until then. My doctor, I love her so much. She palpated it. She said that it doesn't feel like a hernia it's definitely not a hernia she said it could be a lipoma which is like this little fat growth that grows underneath the muscle very unlikely because it feels very deep and those are usually very superficial so she thinks it might be my spleen which is why I need the ultrasound done I feel like it might be my spleen too just because everything I read online kind of applies to me for an enlarged spleen but I don't know why that would be happening to me and hopefully it's nothing serious. The pain that I do get when I get pain is very mild. Now we are going to head home. I've got some work to get done today and I'm just glad I got that appointment over with and now I don't have to like panic that I had something really serious because I was kind of worried about that for a while. Well, I am back home now and I got a really cute PR package from Coco Kind. And this is a skincare brand that I have not tried yet, but I've seen them a few times. They're in Ulta and Target. And they're all about using organic, clean ingredients, which I love because I do kind of have sensitive skin. So I have to be really careful about what I use. And so I am really excited to try this stuff. So they sent their oil to milk cleanser and then their rose water toner. And I've been really into toner toning my face lately, so love this. I also really love the packaging and rose water. I bet that smells so good. Resurfacing sleep mask, texture smoothing cream with celery super seed complex. That just sounds so cool. And then we got a daily SPF, which is awesome. I've been trying to use SPF underneath of my foundation on a regular basis because I live in Florida and anytime you're outside, you're exposing your skin to the sun. This is their revitalizing eye cream. Skin nourishing highlighters. Not quite sure how to use these, but they look really, really cool. And they sent three of them. So that's pretty awesome. I will definitely try these out and let you guys know what I think about them. Thank you so much to Coco Kind for sending me this. You guys know I'm like obsessed with trying new skincare. So this is so exciting. A few minutes ago, I heard a loud bang when I was in my office. And uh, this thing is normally like in the corner. I have no idea how this didn't fall off of it because it's normally like that and it just flipped over to the other side. And these are the culprits. My boys. Oh. Their favorite thing is to lay right here. When I have these lights plugged in, they will literally lay here all day. I think they find it really soothing between like the sunlight and the warmth of this, especially when the blinds are closed. Like it's just this warm light and they love it. And they're so sweet. This is mommy's angel. Yeah. This is baby Stetson. Well, I finally got my Bath and Body Works order in from like two weeks ago. I don't think it's ever taken me this long, but I just ordered a bunch of their single wick candles because they were on sale. I really like the single wicks for smaller spaces like my office or our bedroom. 
the guest bathroom, things like that. So I only got two Christmas ones because I already have like a bunch of three wick Christmas candles. And then I just got a bunch of the regular ones. So that way after the holidays, I am fully stocked. And these also make really good Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers. So I got Into the Night, Lemoncello, A Thousand Wishes, Champagne Toast, one of my favorites, and then Cactus Blossom. And then the two Christmas ones I got was Fresh Balsam, definitely gonna go light this in my office right now. And then I got Vanilla Bean Noel, which is another really wonderful Christmas scent. Well, it is much later now. It's 5.46 and I'm about to start making dinner soon, but I just got this package in that I ordered from Amazon. It's like this little cart. So, I see a picture of it already done. Yeah, it's basically like this little three-tiered cart on wheels and it's white. So I just got this to go underneath my vanity because right now I don't have any storage because I got this because it literally matches the desk exactly. And I just wanted something that matched and looked nice, but at the same time, I ran into the issue where I don't have any drawers, so I have no storage. perfect exactly what I was looking for and I feel like I rarely say that I usually just like don't find what I'm looking for when I want something so specific but this is perfect guys I will link this if you need a little organizing cart type of thing but I just put my jewelry up here just like the stuff that I'm wearing more often and then the other stuff is in like my actual jewelry box in my bedroom and then I put my hair care products and then my skincare stuff in here and my hairbrush and my blow dryer straightener and then it came with these little hooks so I put my curling iron on here and I'm able to like keep this part clear which is what I wanted. Leftovers from last night and I am literally so excited. I enjoyed this meal so much and I get to have it all over again except now without Chad because He's working sadly, so I'm eating this meal by myself tonight. I'm filling up the bathtub now and I am taking my switch in the bathtub with me. And I couldn't be more excited because I am in the midst of completely repathing my entire island on Animal Crossing and I'm converting it into a winter wonderland. And I'm so excited. Uh, there's a new update that came out on the 19th just a few days ago. So I think they're starting to like release the winter stuff slowly but surely but anyways this vlog is super long so i am gonna end it here thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video